Hello everyone, so today we are learning about L298N motor driver. So this is the L298N motor driver board. This is the L298N IC. It is dual bridged, so it can handle two motors, one and two. Here are input pins, data pins and some capacitors and other diodes, power supply etc. So this one is for motor 1 and this one is for motor 2. So here we have to attach motor 1 and here motor 2. Uh, these are the power supplies. This is a 5 volt this one is ground and this one is V input it can handle from 3 volts to 35 volts of power supply and this must be DC DC power here are 4 digital input pins pin number 1 for moving motor 1 clockwise pin number 2 for moving motor 1 anti clockwise pin number 3 for moving motor 2 clockwise and pin number 4 for moving motor 2 anti clockwise so this is the basic structure of l298 and motor driver so so let's test our l298 and motor driver for testing uh, I got a DC motor I put on a wheel so that the moment can be observed easily it is a simple DC motor so here is our motor driver first of all I connected it with the power supply this is the V in or positive this is the ground so I am connecting the motor in the this channel So I connected the DC motor with the this channel and connected the power supply. You can see the LED is blinking. This means the motor driver is getting the power. I take out the 5 volt wire and let's see what will happen when I touch each point simultaneously. So the motor is moving clockwise and now the motor is moving anti-clockwise. By touching the first point the motor is moving clockwise. By touching the second point the motor is moving anti-clockwise. In the same way if we connect the motor instead of this to this these two points will work point number three and four uh, you can connect this with an arduino and make your robots in any robotic car with same with the same way so thank you for watching